Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. It is a beautiful day, but the wind is real. It's real windy. It's chilly. And it's chilly. Um, I'm sure the last video you've seen. Boy, that pond's coming up pretty good. That one is too. It's almost to that hole. Wow. We'll go over there and look at that here in just a little bit. Um, what we're doing today, we're going up here to shut the gate. We're going to let the goats out today and let them roam the property and eat and um, just let them enjoy it. Um, now, Leighton got his trapping stuff and we're going to get all that out and ready, but we're not going to set the traps until we get the animals back in. Um, they won't be at the back of the property anyways, but anyway, so we're going to do that. And uh, just an update on Kaysen. Kaysen's doing really good. He, um, I'm sure we'll have him show you, uh, he'll be out here after a while, but he, the swelling has went down and it is actually went down in his face. Um, it's just a freak deal. Like we said, uh, the doctor said he's never seen it. And um, we're just thankful that it wasn't a brain bleed. Yeah. Um, we are going to take some extra precautions now um, with the, um, with the four wheelers, just, just because um, I don't want to go through that again. And if it does happen again like that, they'll probably end up going down the road. So, yeah. um, anyways, we're going to open this real quick. I have to get another T post and get it up here, but we just basically have this sitting here. And uh, I don't think the goats have come up here, but we just want to close it up just in case. Um, we'll be outside working today, so we'll be able to see what's going on. And once we get, um, once they start getting our house built and all the heavy equipment and stuff back there, we'll come through and fix this road really good. And then we'll put a, a actual entrance so we can put a, a gate so um, we can open and close it. It'll just look much nicer, but um, we're going to have to lay some more rock as we go. But let's go up here and let these goats out and watch them graze. I don't know what we would do without the side by side. No, I know it's, it has made our life a lot easier out here. And we'll probably go around look at the ponds here. Well, we got some uh, flyers we got to plant today. Um, we got some, uh, our materials for the, um, the garden supposed to be coming in this week. We got a lot of stuff that's supposed to, it's gonna be a busy, busy week. So I hope y'all uh, enjoy. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on our video and welcome to our family. The kids out there playing. I'll say um, going through here, cleaning this off here with the water drainage, I think that worked out pretty well. I don't know how, I don't wanna, Stroll over there if it's still dirty, but we're gonna go over here and let them out real quick. What are y'all girls doing? Playing dog tag? Huh? You're not? I'm gonna let them out. Yeah, um, but we ain't gonna let the dogs out. We need to get, um, so go ahead and uh, go get a little bit of food and we'll bring some food out here and get all the... Only a little bit, bub. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get the get goats in, in and uh, we'll lock the dogs out and then we can open this up. Hey girls, how are y'all? Huh? Dad, don't let the dogs out. Oh, I ain't gonna let the dogs out. Good livestock guardian dog. Come in, Dixie. Yeah, good dog. To nope, down. Well, I can't let you get up here and love on me like that anymore. We're going to stay down. All right. So. When I do this, that's Carly. He looks like a different dog. When I do this, let's, let's like don't run them out dog. now. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
black. none of these are going to have any babies. I thought you said the black one. Brown and black, Mocha, right there. See how big she is? Oh. Oh, this one's probably going to have a baby. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and let the babies out over there, too. So. Ow. Just let all of them out? Yeah. Um, come on, go to go. Go to go. Whoa. Um, You're not feeding them right there, are you? Huh? I'm just feeding them enough to get the dogs out of here. We need to get oh, the okay. dogs out. Layton, you want to come get the dogs out? It should be fairly easy to get the dogs out. Come on, Toby. Come on. All right, Dixie's out. Carly's out. All right. We're going to leave the llama, get the llama out. Oh, okay. I guess we can let her out. I think they'll be fine as long as you don't feed them. Yeah. All right, go ahead and lock that. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go ahead and let the llama out. Which really, I think we could have let the dogs out. Look at them, they seem the first green. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We gotta get the other ones up there. Y'all stay right there. Go. All right. Come on, come on, go. There they are. Go, hey, there they There they go. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave. There's one baby. Where's her other baby? They're over there. That's not the babies. Oh, Addison, put put them down. She's looking for a baby. Yeah, her baby's got to go with her mama. So this is the first time that they've been released out on the grass. So this is this is all new to them. And. Uh, once they get out, I'm going to shut this pen so they can't get back in there. And then this evening, when we want them put back up, we'll bring some feed out. Mom! We got them. All right, shut Look, that Look, they game. found all that old feed. Yeah, they're going through cleaning up all the old feed there. Look, we are a A lot of the feed spilled out. That's all the old feed. Where's the uh, badger? I know we got to kind of watch. Badger's right here. We got to kind of watch some babies, like Cinderella, anyways. That's uh, kitty litter. We got to get our hoses wrapped up from the other day. Just enjoy looking at these beautiful things. Look at them go. Look, all the moms took off without the babies. <laughs> There's only one mom that did not take off. Hi, Brownie. No. Oh. All right, so, um, all right, guys, so now we got all the goats out. What we're going to do now is um, I'm going to play a little bit of the video of us actually opening it last night. We just got some mail. It's been a very interesting evening, let me tell you. Um, obviously, we are in a camper. It's extremely cold outside. I know it's just a cramp in here with all six of us, but Leighton has been waiting on this, and many of y'all have sent him uh, funds to get his trapping stuff. So, um, Leighton and Kaysen is here, going to be a part of this. Um, Kaysen, you you lay down over there, okay? We'll uh, I got you. a perfect spot to get um, all the, um, um, the stealer. The what happened to you? It's going down in his... Yeah, it's going back down into his nose. Yeah. So, um... I got perfect... I don't know where we put these videos, um, but... Casey had a full water accident here a few days ago. Well, just earlier we come in and his head was a lot bigger than what it is right there. We panicked, we went to the hospital. Probably scariest I've ever been. But anyways. But I can tell you what this is. Like that. Huh? I got a 
Um, okay, I have perfect plan. What's that? Um, and I know how to get all the Steelers to start animals. Because the ones, um, um, they're trying to eat them. That way we can catch them. And I got a perfect spot for the Steelers. Where's that? Um, get close, close, like about right here. Uh-huh. And, um, um, we got the Steelers. I'll catch the Steelers. Yep. All right, well, Bub, you do need to lay down, yeah. though, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Well, when you get to feeling better, you can go out and set them traps. Yeah. All right. I think more packing. Yes. What's these? DPs. These are DPs. How many do you buy? One? Where are the one Just put it down. We'll get it. Two. Three. I figured three, four DPs would do our property pretty good sitting on everywhere, huh? I already got two spots for two of these. Okay. And then you got your uh, anchors. Anchors? Is that what they call these? Yes. All right. I hold that. And then you got. Good boy. This one knocked them all those out of What's them called? Alpha. Alpha twos. That's what Pierce said when I asked him. I said, if you. Them are big, ain't they? But one thing I like about this is, as you see, and most people, they think there's little claws inside of them. It's not. It's all flat. It just grabs their leg and holds it there until we get there. That's the reason why it's very important. He gets up in the mornings and checks his traps before school. Okay. Yeah. Two of them. What's that? Oh, yeah. What uh, is it? Bobcat Glen. Bobcat Booty Glenn. call. Booty call. Mm -hmm. Cat. Cat collector for cat. Time. I think I'm trying to taste it, Dad. I was just wrong. Oh, it's a thing for you longer. Is that the right size? Yeah. Okay. I thought his looked a little bigger. Yeah, it did. His did look longer. Oh, he's that. That's probably what that is, huh? Oh, that's the, for the anchor. Oh, that's to put the anchor down? Yeah. Okay. I have a trimmer in my tool box. You have to find you a toolbox. Oh, right, right. it's it. Yeah, it's just whoop, whoop. That's it. I'd say these predators better leave. <laughs> so they're in trouble now. Hey, Dad. About $75 worth of paper. Hey guys. What are these? Steaks? Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks like them steaks. Hey guys. I'm trying to talk to the video. Yeah, steaks. Just to, um, like, I'm not, where, where the, um, still are coming from? Where's the predators coming from? I don't know, but they need to g stay gone. No, no, no. Where's the traps coming from? No, where the, where the coming from? Um, when you put the trap there, and then, um, when you put the, on the long. Oh, yeah. I have one trap that set out, but, I mean, that's a bobcat, uh. Is that the Mountain Dew? Yeah, it's spicy Mountain Dew. <laughs> what do you mean Mountain Dew? That's what, who is that? Pierce. Yeah. Was it Pierce that called it that? Yeah. Probably another uh, spicy Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's the same stuff, but just different writing. For
coyote. Uh, coyote pro shot. Yeah, coyote, and that's Bobcat. Well, what do you want to tell everybody? Thank you, everyone that gave me some money for some trapping lures and stuff. Yeah, we're going to try to take, get these get these predators taken care of and uh, get casing some more chickens out here. So and more traps for me. Yeah, and some more traps. I got who is All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put these up for the night. It's real late, but he's been waiting on them, so we're going to let him open them. So that's him. But then we're going to go ahead and get his bag ready um, so he can start trapping. We're not going to put any traps or anything out until this evening. We'll put up all the animals and then we'll set the traps off or set the traps out. And if we let them out tomorrow, we'll go set the traps off. And then before we go back, We'll set them, we'll reset them just because the, the, the varmint, they're not coming up during the day. It's not time that they're coming in, which we got several videos or pictures, pictures. over the last few days. Kyle. And uh, we'll show some of them in this video as well so you can take a look at them. Um, they're, they're getting a little closer to the house, so we're going to try to get them back. So anyways... We're going to go ahead and open this up and get his uh, bag ready. And for everybody um, that has reached out to help him get this, what do you want to say, Layton? Thank you, everyone, that helped me reach my goal to get my trapping lures and traps. So um, there's anchors. your anchors. And we kind of went through this all last night, but we're going to set it all out. Um, go ahead and put your anchors in there. Let me see if i got something to... Open. This is just a regular little bag we got him. I have a pocket knife. You got a pocket knife? See if, all right, get it out. I may not be able to get it with this. These are the anchor stakes. Is these for the DPs? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, I think I we got think six of these. Yeah. Oh, right. they ain't going to fit, are they? No, oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are fit. We're just going to have to be careful because... Uh, they're probably going to poke a hole in that bag there. Yeah. We might not want to. Um, Since they're so sharp. We may put them inside here. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know what we're going to do with these. Um, I need a bigger bag. Yeah, we may have to try to find you a well, bigger bag. Well, how some people do it is. Leave them hanging out. Like that. Okay. We'll look into that. Um, this is the auger for your auger. drill. Yes. And I got a drill for you over there that you can keep in your bag but you're going to take care of it okay okay we'll put the auger in there and then these are your traps which Alpha. we're going to have to um, he's got a bucket here we're going to get some water and we're going to soak them and uh, uh, for about three or four hours and then they'll be ready for us to actually set uh, this evening but boy these are some big old traps and yeah. um, I don't know if you can see very well last night in the video but um, there is nothing sharp in there that actually hurts the animal so we can actually go up and retrieve it you know especially if it's a, a coyote or anything like that obviously we're going to dispatch because there's so many of them here um, this bog cap keeps coming up there's two of them that's coming up really close which I've got another camera we're going to set some traps over here on this side and uh, we'll put a camera on them. So if we do get something on camera, we can see and we'll immediately go out there and take care of it. You know, we don't want, <laughs> Badger, we don't want to, uh, we don't want them to suffer or anything like that. So I don't think this is going to stay in there. You're going to have to keep that out too. Because I just don't want something to hit the side of the bag and it, it actually uh, tear it like that. Yeah. So. So you can keep this all closed, but here, when you get done trapping it at the end of the night, when you come in or whatever, you need to take this and go put it in the, the shop so it don't get wet. Okay. Um, so I'm let's go ahead and take um, that, that bow there. I'm going to clean or the it bucket. Up. Yeah, let's bring it over here by the water hose. So, um, let's go ahead and wash this out.
All right, so we got some of that and uh, we got that. We're gonna put some degrease in there. Um, we had a company send us or a subscriber sent us some uh, degreaser. We have not tried it, but we're fixing to give it a shot and see what it does um, to degrease them. And then uh, we also had a boot company send me and Steph some boots called Brunt. Um, we just put them on today and uh, we just started wearing them. So don't know. Right now we're in the break-in phase, but um, we want to thank uh, Brunt for sending us a couple pairs of boots. And we can always use an extra pair of boots here on the farm. So we'll see how they work on and we'll give you all an update on them. <laughs> all right so it's orange oh it's like oil makeup sister i don't let you get it wet we would take this trap and Mix it up. yeah well know me i always think a little extra is better i didn't know you mix it with water yeah same thing with this in here. Uh, Layton, if you would, carry this back over there to the top of side. Side of side. And we'll let this soak really good. And we'll put this over here by the tree. And this evening when we come back, we can actually take them uh, out. Take them out and use them. All right, so we got that. That might so want to shut my knife. We got him a bucket like uh, Pierce had, well, it's, uh, it's a kitty litter bucket. We've got to get him some of that fur. What is it, the pillow stuffing? Pillow stuffing. You know, go ahead and open open that. Where did I put my knife? Well, you picked you it up. Uh-uh, oh, it's right here. Oh. Here. Okay. Make a little hole there and we'll just pour it in there. I'm gonna get the second one ready. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna pour his meat mo or peat, peat moss. moss. We could we had to go to the next town over. Well, about two towns over to get this stuff. Yeah, it was hard to find, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a flat. It's basically flower bedding. Okay. I don't know how he gets like the gray stuff, like the brown stuff. This will turn brown when it, uh, when it dries. It gets old. Look at that. You want some? Don't get dirty. Who that's cold? <laughs> They'll play tag. All right, guys. So that is going to be it until this evening, and then we're going to take him down there, and then we'll get the trap set. We'll probably go looking for some places and to set the traps. But um, we'll probably put that in Steph's video. So if you want to see where we're going to try to find, go over to Life on the Eddie Family Farm and follow us along. So, yeah, so we made it back from town. We had to run to town to get uh, Leighton some more stuff for his trapping. Um, as you see, the goats are just hanging out back here. We're fixing to gather them up and put them back up, and we're going to go set the traps. So we're fixing to put them up, and we're going to go uh, set the traps and stuff. But... Um, you know, if you've seen the last video or if you've seen any reels or anything uh, and you're trying to wonder what's going on with Case, and his, his eyes a lot better today. Um, he, he did uh, sneak off and get on the four wheelers here about three days ago. And last night, for some reason, he had a big uh, bruise knot come up on his head, which scared me and Stephanie. So we ended up taking him to the emergency room. They did a CAT scan and there was no brain bleed or no fractures or anything like that. So uh, he told us to watch it, and he did tell us that it's going to start moving down, and it would move down, and his eye would turn black and stuff like that. So um, it's looking a lot better. I know it, it, it's like anything else. Any, any bruise or not, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, 
he, he's doing really good now. Um, how he did this was he snuck and got onto his brother's four-wheeler without permission. Which is like the fastest thing that we got. Yeah. And he did not put on a helmet. helmet. First time he has ever got on a four-wheeler without a helmet and he has an accident. So we're, we're changing things up. The keys are going to be locked up until um, we allow them to ride um, and we're outside with them. So here's the deal. Um, it, you know, I know people's going to say, well, I can't believe you took your eyes off your kids. We let our kids live their life. And you can't watch your kids 24-7. And this type of behavior don't happen very often. Our, our kids are very well disciplined. And um, Kaysen, he knows the consequences. He knows he cannot ride no four-wheeler for over a month. He's grounded from a four-wheeler. But that's just part of it. He's got to, he, you know, obviously last night I was so scared. You know, I wasn't thinking like that. But um, anyways, we share the good and the bad. And just unfortunately, Kaysen is our accident-prone child. But um, he's doing good now and uh, his eyes looking a lot better. He even feels good enough he wants to come out here and check on his chickens. He came out earlier, now he wants to see if there's any eggs. So we're gonna go check see if there's any eggs real quick and then he's going back in to lay down and rest. You got any eggs? I don't know if there are none. Oh, there ain't none. Have you already checked them? I yeah. yeah? I Wait, I forgot to check here. No. None. I've got. All I've right. got every that spot. Well, it's been kind of cold, so, huh? You might want to go look over there. Yeah, it's been kind of cold, so um, they kind of stop laying when it's cold. Yeah. Look at them goats. They just they just out there chilling. They're looking for grass, but they will stay on grass right now. Yeah. Dog race. Wait. Let's take the other hold on, one. Hold on, son. Let's take on this side. You want to check this side? Yeah, because, let's see. Got one egg, don't you? I see. Is that the only only egg? Go ahead and get that egg. Oh, we're taking the incubator? Yeah, we'll take it and put it up. Yeah, it's going to have some babies. Oh, yeah. That coat, that coat. Take that. Can I feel it? It is cold. Oh my yeah, we'll back up. You did it. No. I always take my yeah. egg. The second one probably one too. No, no they're oh. eggs, but they probably can't. Yeah, do they're not laying yet. They're getting close. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to take. Um, what are you doing, Skittles? Hey, give me, give me Huggy. Um, we're going to go put this egg up. Kason's going to go inside and do some resting and. We're going to go ahead and get the goats pinned back up, and then we're going to start the trapping. So follow us along. I did it. You got it in there? Yep. Uh, love this. Let me get some dog food. Yo, we need some dog food. What are you doing, cowboy? Go to go. Yeah, you can put in. We're going to have to separate the mamas. Uh, we're going to let them all in there right now. Okay. Hurry up and open this. Hurry up and open this. All right, guys, we are going to feed the dogs and then we're going to go start trapping. It's a little different feeding without the rest of the, the kiddos, especially the, the chickens. Um, Kaysen, and, Kaysen fed this morning, which he, we put out a bunch, so they're not going to get any this evening. There you go, Dixie. Good girls. Y'all being good girls. So, we're going to take this back up to the uh, barn and we are going to get on the side by side. We're going to go start trapping. Me and Layton are off to go set the traps. 
Yep. Huh. All right, me and Layton's off to go set the traps. It's just been one of those days. It's tired and cold and going inside and it's warm. But we are going to try to get us a coyote tonight. Um, Hopefully they was, a coyote or a bobcat. Yeah, the coyotes were really, really close last night. Yeah. And they were uh, walking behind the trap that we're about to reset since it's well, I don't know if you're going to reset the sensitivity one, right? Are you going to reset it? I don't it? know. We're going to take a look at it when we get down there. See if anything is. We'll probably set a couple different sets down here. Yeah, like some box box sets and stuff. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Um, well, I know why they wasn't, we wasn't catching nothing on that. Why? Because... Mud? Mud. That's why I was like, I probably need to reset it. Let's go ahead and get some of these traps and stuff. We just need to uh, get your get your bag. Got your bag. Yep. Get this. Yep. Same weight as Pierce's. That's <laughs> pretty heavy, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. And then uh, let me get the stand here. So that we can. Because you got it. one back there already, right? Yeah. All right. So. I think what we do is come along here, but I think we need to set one right in here. Yeah. Because as you because see- Because the bobcat, I mean the coyote comes right through here. Yeah, as you see, there's a path through here. So I think we set one right in this area. Which is that's directly where he stepped. Yeah, so we're gonna set these over here to the side. Do we want to leave that one there or? We may move that later yeah. on. Okay. So, I'm thinking so let's go ahead and uh, get us a good spot here cleaned out. You got your hammer? Yep. Like I say, guys, we are definitely not no pros or professionals at this. We're going to be learning together. We kind of know what some things are and some things ain't. So, so I'm going to make a whole set. All right. You're going to make the whole set? All right. Like a whole set. Maybe right here. That's kind of. See if it where we need to go. <sighs> no, it's perfect. It's perfect mm, fit. It, it probably needs deeper. A little deeper. And then get this. Because one, once this we set it, it's going to be a little bit wider there. Wider. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull that back. So now I'm gonna set right there, which is gonna be good. That's gonna be good right there. Yep. Then take one of these. No, wait. No, not this. Not that either. Did I forget something? Was it? Oh, there you I are. I think this is awesome. Kay. I am so proud Got of it. him wanting to do this. Got it, guys. You got it? Yep. All right. Finally. Now I'm going to take probably one of these just that's already open on the top. See if this anchor will fit. Okay. So I forgot my stuff. I what forgot my forget? trimmer. My trimmer at home. Well, it's yours, but I'm going to use one of my new ones that okay. I know works. difficult but hopefully we get there oh goodness is it still in okay so now we're gonna drive that into the ground so i'm probably gonna oh goodness hopefully it's not too small this thing's not too big so take it right there oh I forgot we have rocks here. So now, okay. See, since you got it like that already, let's see this. 
since you already got it kind of started, get back here and get I just, oh, maybe I can just pull it out. Yeah. Okay. What do you do now? Take that. Now we set the trap. Then you got to pull up on it? Yeah, just to make sure it's okay. good. Okay. Then I would just, just get all that dirt back in that hole. Okay. So now I've never used these traps before. I've never set one of these. So, so before we set them, do we want to dr drill the hole back in there? I would, because okay. uh, hopefully we don't chop our hand off. We'll get our hand caught in the trap while we're doing that. Okay. Take my power cable drill. This is a little bit long. Right, let's go right back here. Okay. Right there. There you go. Now. That's where you put your bait. The lures okay. and bait, yes. All right, go. Okay. Yeah, you're probably going to need to do it. I already chipped my hand in it. Keep pushing it down there. Lift up on it. There it is. Mm. Take the cotton. Not yet. We gotta put it under here. Oh, okay. Set your trap first, right? Yeah. I'm going to put that in there. <clears throat> I don't like how that rocks. Mm -hmm. I have to hit it a little bit harder with these new ones. There, there it is. is. Good deal. Now we're going to pull this back. And now okay. it's set, but... Now we're going to take our dirt. Well, we put peep our... Okay, so fill that, fill this. That was not good. So now I'm gonna go grab like a stick or something, like a brush thing that I can use. Y yeah, you're right, you don't, but you want some of it to where it's just not all the way, that like right there to where it's not all the way shown, but it won't get stocked up. I don't know. Probably gonna start out with some coyote booty call or I don't know where that's at. I think it's right here. What is it? What does it look like? Oh, it's like a mushy. Okay. So I'm just going to take it like a random <laughs> stick. What is that? Something inside there. Oh, wait, I forgot. Forgot to put something in there. The fur? Yep. <laughs> And put some more, just so they don't, so it don't get put blocked. A little bit more of this in there. Okay, so that it don't get blocked. So I'm gonna put some more. Why do I feel like I smell this like an everyday basis? I don't know. It smells weird. Yeah, not as bad as that other. The coyote 
press up. on a different right. tree branch. Okay, so now this trap's done. We gotta kinda get this out of the way. Yeah. So now. That trap's done. Yep. Um, all right, all right, so we got this trap done. Um, we need to try to find another set. And I think a good one will be right back here because that's another path they come through. So we're gonna just ease right back there and put another one um, because this is the main area they all come through right here. So we'll probably put that one there and then we'll probably reset this one, if not move it. I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna move back here and set another one up. All right, we got this set ready and move nah. on to uh, the next ones are going to be pretty easy because we just got to reset them. So yeah. we're going to move on to the next ones and see what we can get. Somebody's trying, somebody's trying to sneak up on us. My fool are too loud. She's riding on the outsides because we don't want to tear the ground up. Yeah. All right, guys, so we've made it over here to his DP trap. He's going to set that real quick. And uh, these don't take very long to set up. If I... Which that is not gonna work, so I'm just gonna... My hands are dirty. What about, uh, what do you want to put the other DP traps? They come right through, everything comes right through there. I know that, because the raccoons come through there, possums, armadillos, coyotes. What I'm saying is if, if you put it right over here somewhere, we can put that camera here and see. Well, we already got the camera. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Where do you want to put it? Just tell me where you want to put it. Right there. Just that one spot right there. All right, guys, so we just finished putting out all the traps. I think we got a total of five traps set today. So uh, cross your fingers. Hopefully in the morning, we will have some bobcats. Um, bobcats or coyotes, uh, and we just don't want to take a chance. We're trying to get a uh, case of some more chickens up here, and uh, we're not going to go down that road again. So we're going to do everything we can to uh, trap them and uh, get them relocated or whatever we have to do to stop them um, from taking our chickens. So thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. God bless.